right, so this video is going to be mostly about Microsoft stuff like Minecraft and then Rare stuff like Banjo-Kazooie and kind of how, you know, we're not sure what we're going to get as our DLC characters. It seems like it's like Steve versus Banjo-Kazooie for a Microsoft spot. Obviously, we could get both, too. We could get neither, but that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to keep it mostly spoiler-free, um, and then at some point I'm going to mark it and say, okay, now I'm going to start talking about spoilers. And what I mean by spoilers, what I mean by spoilers is like the data mind stuff. So I am going to be talking about what leakers are saying before that. I am going to be speculating, you know, a bit about like the DLC and what we could get and stuff like that. But I will mark it when I start talking about the data mind information. Um, and then I just want to start this off real quick, just get this out of the way because it's just neat um, that Nintendo is doing like, at least Nintendo of Japan is doing like a Smash League or something. So I'm always really in favor of anything where Nintendo officially does like um, competitive Smash, anything like that. So it's really exciting to see Nintendo has an interest in that. I kind of think we saw that at E3 this year. So hopefully with this Smash League happening in Japan, maybe that'll happen in North America as well. Maybe it'll happen worldwide and we will get, you know, just a really cool competitive Smash scene that's actually like officially licensed by Nintendo in some way. That'd be really awesome. Okay, so moving on to what the leakers are talking about. First up, I'm going to talk real quick about what Hitagi is saying just to get us caught up with where Hitagi is at. So Senjo Gahara Hitagi wrote, Pretty much the hints I were given about the supposed 5 DLC is fake, and I was advised that it would take a very long time for the DLC names to come out. So before Hitagi was saying that what they had heard about Catalina probably wasn't for Smash, the Grand Blue stuff probably isn't coming to Smash, it was probably for something else, and now they're saying the rest of the DLC stuff they heard is also not true. Except for Steve. They still think Steve from Minecraft is definitely in. So let me just be as clear as possible. This is my opinion on what they're saying from what I've read, so don't take it as fact. If you want to know what Hitagi's definitely saying for sure. Uh, go look at Hitagi stuff. Hitagi seems to really not like when YouTubers or people in forums or whatever talk about what they said and get it wrong. So from my understanding, everything except for Steve that Hitagi's heard is no longer on the table. So Hitagi also wrote this about Steve. They said the only reason why Steve isn't fake is because there has been a lot of evidence as to his existence. I can't get into details for legal reasons, but there are multiple things supporting why Steve is a legit character, including content outside of just the character. You can say, well, you're just being vague, but I have to be. There's a lot of reasons as why I can't say a lot of details. You cannot believe me, that's fine, but at the end of the day, there is very little evidence for the four DLC characters and a lot of evidence for Steve. So once again, to be clear, my opinion is Hitagi is basically saying everything that they heard about DLC is wrong, except for Steve, the Minecraft stuff, and Steve, they still believe to be true. That's what I believe is where Hitagi is at now. I'm just trying to catch you guys up on that. So there is a user on Reset Era called Rice who seemed to know about Piranha Plant and knew the Grinch leak was fake, um, you know, when everyone was believing the Grinch leak. So uh, I'm just going to read what they have to say about Virgibin. So Rice says, Virgibin has been saying there would be Minecraft content in Smash since June, long before Nintendo and Sakurai made the DLC roster plans. If that piece of information was legitimate, I probably would have heard it over the summer. It sounds to me like Virgibin is pivoting to the Minecraft content being DLC to save face for bad intel. I'm not saying Minecraft DLC is an impossibility, I just don't think Virgibin actually knows anything about the DLC. Okay, so Rice is saying he doesn't believe Virgibin knows anything about the DLC. Um, I don't really like going against Virgibin because he's been right the whole time for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but I will say DLC, of course, is a different beast entirely from the base roster. So it is possible Rice is right here and Virgibin doesn't know anything about the DLC or the information he got about the DLC is false. Who knows for sure, but I want to get the information out there to you guys of what's being talked about right now between leakers and stuff. Okay, and now for the most interesting thing that's come out. Virgibin has spoken again and has told us what his source says the Minecraft content actually is. So Virgibin posted, Minecraft is in Smash but represented with a boss. I am curious if Minecraft representation about being a fighter or assist trophy was an intentional misdirect now. But there you have it. 
Okay, so Virgibin is saying Minecraft is actually just a boss in Smash. Um, of course, he doesn't necessarily say that it isn't a character, it isn't a sister, if it isn't a stage or something further than that, but he's saying that the representation will be a boss and potentially nothing more than that. So this definitely opens up the door for things like rare characters, such as Banjo-Kazooie, instead of C uh, Steve being a DLC character. Totally possible. I'll also say Virgibin is still saying we'll get a Square Enix rep as one of the DLC characters. He hasn't gone back on that. So... Basically, a Square Enix rep is the only DLC character that Virgibin's really saying now, as Minecraft is supposedly just a boss in the game. Now, if I had to guess, I'd say the boss is probably Ender Dragon. Uh, it's also possibly Wither, but Ender Dragon seems like the one that seems, I don't know, like the better choice to me, a better representation of Minecraft. And since we have, like, Rathalos representing um, Monster Hunter and seems to be, like, you know, the major representation for Monster Hunter in the game is indeed Rathalos, it's possible Minecraft is a boss here, and that's what it is. It's just Ender Dragon. Um, could happen. So, yeah, that's what Virgibin seems to be saying now, is that we're getting just a boss for Minecraft content. So going forward from here, I am going to start talking about spoiler stuff about data mine stuff. So I'm going to take the information I just talked to you guys about, and now I'm going to openly talk about what we know from the data mines. Okay, so data mine spoilers from here on out. Uh, just fair warning, everybody, you're going to be talking about the data mine stuff. Um, first off, before I get back to Virgibin and what he's been saying and the leakers and what that means with what we know from the data mine, um, I just want to say a couple things uh, pertaining to data mine information. Um, before I said that Cloud was not part of World of Light, that may in fact have just been a false rumor. Um, I haven't seen either way if Cloud's in or if he isn't in, um, but yeah, that might have just been something that people were saying because of the whole thing about Square being stingy and Cloud possibly getting in last and all that stuff. So that might not actually be true. Cloud might actually be part of World of Light. Um, not confirmed yet, but yeah, that's just a rumor. Um, another interesting thing that was found out, uh, just for people who are into like the competitive scene, uh, it appears that um, you can toggle on and off uh, Rage. So yeah, that seems to be something you can shut off. So I don't know if the competitive scene is going to leave that on or shut that off. But yeah, it's pretty interesting that that happened. And then um, final thing before I get into like the leakers and what Virgin just said, um, we have actually seen the Geno spirit um, attached to someone and we've seen the Mallow spirit, um, which is, uh, I think the fight is with Robin and uh, Mallow is using like the, um, the image from Mario RPG that Mallow has. So yeah, that's, they are in their spirits. We've seen it now. Now let's dig into what virgibin has been saying um, about this Minecraft stuff and put it up against what we know from the data mine. So we've looked at the data mine information and we have a list of the bosses and there is no Minecraft boss from what we've seen. So what could this possibly mean? Um, is Virgibin just wrong? Is the information just completely false? Um, is Minecraft content coming as DLC, but we're actually getting more than like the fighter pass has shown and we're going to get like bosses or something. There's obviously some sort of rumor that something's going to happen at the video game awards most people were thinking it was going to be like we'll, we'll be shown our first DLC fighter and it was going to be like the Square Enix rep um, but it's possible we get something else here um, there was also a leaker over on Reddit who knew about Piranha Plant um, in great detail Piranha Plant and Incineroar in great detail and they um, hinted at a day one patch that would add modes now from the data mine we've seen I think home run contests like music is in the game so it's possible that that mode will be added right away so potentially um, a boss would be added too. It's possible some other stuff is getting added and maybe that's the Minecraft content. We don't know for sure, but Virgibin's confused too. He said this. So someone questioned him and said, you do know all the bosses have been data mined already, right? Or do you mean to suggest there will be boss updates DLC outside of the fighter pass? F it. If it means Steve ain't playable, I hope it's legit. Virgibin said back, I'm not entirely sure what all it means, but I was told earlier that exact quote that I shared from my most accurate of all sources. I'm as confused and curious as you are what the implications of that mean. So that quote that Virgibin gave out about Minecraft uh, being in Smash represented as a boss is an exact quote from his most trusted source. So Virgibin is just as confused as we are and unsure what's going on here. It could be a day one patch. It could be some sort of future DLC. We really don't know what's happening, but Virgibin is giving us the information that his most trusted source is saying that Minecraft content, that was a boss. That's what it's going to be. Obviously, this opens up the possibility of getting someone else from Microsoft besides Steve as DLC. 
see um, potentially we get Banjo, which would be awesome. That's what my source's source was saying. We get Banjo, and honestly, me and my source were doubting that Microsoft source for a while here, but now it seems like that's a possibility. And the most interesting thing of all I'm going to talk about next, something amazingly interesting was found in the data mined info. So looking through the data mined information, people have found two games that are owned by Rare as spirits. Uh, they appear to be cut spirits, like they're not fully in the game, but the data is still in there. They're from Blast Corpse and Jet Force Gemini. I'm a huge Jet Force Gemini fan, so I'm happy to see that represented in Smash in some way. Um, and also supposedly Rare um, Limited is in the copyright information, possibly scrubbed from the copyright information, but in the data, um, in the data mine, they've seen Rare Limited in the copyright information. I haven't seen that, but I've seen the Blast Corp stuff and I've seen the Jet Force Gemini stuff, so I don't doubt that the Rare copyright is in there. But that means Nintendo went to Rare. That means Rare is somehow on board with this game. That probably means we'll get a Rare character in, as DLC. Most likely Banjo. Um, so I'm pretty shocked by that. I was kind of counting out Banjo, really going, okay, I guess it's probably Minecraft, but after getting data mined information on rare games in Smash Brothers Ultimate, it seems Banjo is probably the front runner for a Microsoft character. I've said it before, but I'll say it again here. I don't know either way if spirits deconfirm characters or not. I see good arguments on both sides of that table. So having Gino be a spirit, um, you know, part of me is really disappointed in that and thinking, you know, maybe he isn't in the game at all. Uh, Virgin Ben is still saying he believes there's going to be a Square Enix rep, um, and I'm still holding out hope for Gino, but that was um, a big blow, <laughs> you know, recently from all this data mine stuff. However, to then have Virgin ben come out and say that the Minecraft content might just be a boss and to actually find uh, rare games within the data of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate and making basically the stars align in favor of Banjo, I am very, very hopeful that at least my number two most wanted for this game, Banjo-Kazooie, looks extremely likely um, out of nowhere. So that is awesome. Very, very happy about that and really hopeful for Banjo. Pretty interesting stuff here. Um, obviously, I'm still going to be holding the torch for Gino, and I hope spirits don't deconfirm characters, I hope he's a Square Enix rep, but man, it really looks like Banjo might actually be getting in as DLC now. That's some pretty huge news for Banjo fans like myself, so yeah, I'm very happy about that. Um, so leave some comments below, let me know what you think about all that stuff, guys. So once again, thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes, uh, it really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.